Good afternoon. He's snoozing. Yeah. Guess what we forgot about. <laughs> Peter's sleep studies tonight. And thank goodness my friend reminded me, like wishing me luck for my night on my own. We would not we have would remembered. <laughs> And they texted me the other day, but they didn't call, and so, like, I forgot. Yeah. I have to and be there in four hours. we were, like, all about getting a Christmas tree today. We're which still we're try. still gonna do. But I think we just got, like, in Christmas tree mode, but that's at eight. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> There's a lot of trees here, which I'm really happy about because mm -hmm. I feel like we did it. I feel like we waited because of all of our travels. Yeah. We, we dragged our last feet year. to get a tree last year. And the year before that, we same. So this is like a fresh tree. So we're at Josario's Christmas trees. There's two locations. We're at the one um, on the corner of Michigan and Delaney. And it's the first day it's open. So there's lots of trees. There's a super Whoa. tall one up there. My baby boys Christmas tree shopping for the first time. For the first time. He's sleeping. Um, there's so many good ones. I think right now this is the winner, Sarah. But P.S. Stop. If you didn't watch our, I don't think we vlogged like our very first Christmas ever when we had that massive tree. No. Sarah and I are fans of going big. Yes. So this tree may be it. I want to take a couple looks at the aisles over there. But that would fit and it looks full and delicious. Yeah. Okay. Let's we, go look around over there. Yeah, we'll look around. James, what do you think of this one? Or maybe this one. <laughs> I think it's gonna drop a little bit. So Peter is trying to convince me on this tree. Okay, it's you can tell how crooked it is, right? It's, it's crooked the way the bottom is cut. We found one. Well, what an incredibly small world. I'm running in to grab firehouse subs because we're actually running out of time because that took longer than I wanted because I have to be at the sleep study in an hour and I have to shower before then because I can't have gel and product in my hair. I'm gonna have Sarah tell you about the, the wonderful man who helped us. We almost walked out of there though because I forgot that like with the parking lot ones, it's not all prefixed prices that you can haggle with them. And I got too, I was too overzealous about our first tree, but I love the tree we got, especially after talking to the guy who we ended up buying from. But Sarah, I'll tell you more about that. Good out. Strawberry cream soda, not at the BBC lounge. Yes. Here are two massive sandwiches. Oh Sarah gosh. got something called the Whoa. Hero. I got one called an Italian. <laughs> Eve wishes she got one called the Canine. <laughs> I have to eat this and shower and get to the place in 30 minutes. Ready, set, go. <gasps> What's he got? Here we go, Sun Up for Sleep Disorder. It's just parked, got my jammies, got my overnight bag, little one book to read. I'm excited. See what happens. So we barely got to show little cutie pie's outfit. Don't you just love this sweet little Christmas flannel? So I am on my phone. I want to stay trapped here for a little bit. James fell asleep while nursing, uh, but I just want to make sure that he's like really good and asleep before like this is his like calming nap before we go to bed. Um, I don't want to go to bed too early, like than usual, um, just to stick with his schedule and how he's been doing and what's been successful for us because he's been sleeping really great. Um, but Peter left. I FaceTimed my mom for a little bit. The firehouse subs were really tasty, but just like so, so meaty. Um, so I had to like take it apart because it was just too much. Um, but overall, really good. I haven't had a sub like that in a while. The tree is up and hopefully it'll begin to fall and then we'll decorate it tomorrow. Well, here's my room. I literally just like walked up and two other people were coming in. This painting, this picture I've seen somewhere and I have no idea where from, but I know I've seen it before a million times. I have to send the photo to Sarah and see if she remembers it, but I know 
I know this from another office somewhere. Got a TV over here that's like in Spy on Me. Um, gadgets and gizmos, gadgets and gizmos. That's the bed I'll be sleeping in. So it is a little after eight. They're gonna come hook me up with a bunch of sensors and everything, and then lights out at 10. Um, then they wake me up around five to get me unplugged and discharged and everything, so. I feel good. It was like a rush, rush, rush from about four o'clock for my work day into going to the tree, coming back, getting James ready, getting the tree in, all that stuff, eating and getting over here, so. But now I'm ready just to chill. Hopefully I can sleep with all these weird gizmos on me. Okay, but what are all these weird strings there? I'm gonna put me in the matrix. All right, you're not gonna believe it. Guess what's on this TV? The newborn channel, which is what we were watching every, every once in a while at Winnie Palmer. How awesome is that? And P.S. I am hooked up. I haven't seen myself yet, but I have the sensors everywhere. Look at this. This is insane. So it's nine o'clock right now. It took about 15, 20 minutes from this to set me all up, but they have to come back to hook this thing up to something. Um, I told them to come back around 10. Probably gonna call Sarah really quick. Um, still don't know what this painting is from. I'm beginning to wonder if it's the same painting in every room. And I remember staring at it because I was here for an obnoxiously long time um, for my consultation. Maybe. I'm not sure, but I feel like Wolverine when he's getting all hooked up. I can't get over all this. And there's more they have to come hook me up to before bed. I think the next 15, 20 minutes they're going to come hook me up. And I'm going to try to go to bed. Peter Booker going to bed before 10. That hasn't happened in a while. I got some Minions movie on that I'm not really watching. Like, I'm nervous I'm gonna unplug all these. I sent a picture of this to the Air Hearts and I feel like, I just feel like I need to like switch up all these sensors, make them work for their money. I think this is gonna be my sign off. I just realized with that camera right there that I was standing really close to the TV, silently staring at the last 10 minutes of this movie and I probably looked so creepy to them on that camera. So if I don't vlog again, it's good to be home. Well. It's good to be sleep study. So this is typically how I have my computer set up during the day. So often little one will fall asleep on my lap on this pillow. Which is so funny because we have this fancy doc tot. This is just a pillow from our bed. Um, but he prefers this. He won't. Like a lot of the times when I try to transfer him, he'll wake up in the doc tot. But the pillow is just where it's at. It must like have more of like my scent and whatnot on it. I don't know, that's the only thing I can think of. Like it has like my comfortingness to it more so than this. Um, yeah, he's just, he's just a humble guy. He likes his pillow. Alrighty friends, so I have been doing some catch up work. Um, just like organizing photos and the YouTube videos from when we were in the hospital. I still have a little bit more to do, but that's what I've been doing, and then I tidied up the place, which feels really good. Um, and now I'm going to get James up for a little bath before bed. Um, Peter had said that I was going to tell a story of the salesperson at the Christmas tree lot, um, and that it just, it's such a small world. So we're like, we picked the one tree and we got a price, and it was like, super expensive and we like compared it to like what we would do in Michigan you know when we would like go caravan with our whole family get free hot chocolate go on a horse drawn carriage go into the field chop it down and it was like similar price for just like going to a lot and so I actually kind of thought that we weren't going to leave with a tree from there because it was just kind of like it wasn't very Christmassy um and obviously we're going to pay a good amount for a nice tree, but it was just like a lot. Um, but then we got talking to the salesperson when we were looking at the tree that we got and come to find out he's from Chicago too. And, um, he said what neighborhood he was from, from the South side. And we said Evergreen park. And so we were just chit chatting. And then I mentioned that my parents went to Gage park high school, which is on like 55th and Western. If anybody's familiar with the area and he was like, did you say Gage Park? 
And I was like, yeah. And he was like, that's where I went to high school. And he's like, I have not thought of Gage Park. I have, like, like you're really, like, shaking me to my core. Like, I cannot believe that you said Gage Park. And so we were just, like, chatting about the neighborhood and um, what brought him to Florida and his family. And then he gave us a really great deal on the tree. Out of all the neighborhoods, out of all the high schools. Um, and he was, like, two years younger than my mom. So they didn't he didn't know her by name um but it was just crazy that like that he knew all of the ins and outs of so much that was familiar to us so yeah that was our funny christmas tree lot um experience tonight okay now this perfect little angel needs to get washed up since i've been home alone tonight i've watched little women the 90s version and now hook both are like feel goody holiday movies to me did you guys know that that is Glenn Close, the actress? Let's see how much he stretches. Oh goodness. Let's see the arms. There they go. Still going. Still going. Uh oh, he's super sleepy. Just look at those piggy toes. This is our book of choice tonight. The monster at the end of this book. Total classic. We've got our one two punch of formula all heated up. I am going to have to do the um, the daily message once I put him in his bassinet because I cannot hold him and lift that sheet up at the same time. Um, we did one last sponge bath tonight we had said that um his umbilical cord fell off so now he can have like full-on bath time um, but with peter being gone tonight we decided to skip it because he needs to be there for his first real bath so we are awfully cozy all swaddled up he got one last little diaper change and i mean hopefully hopefully we just get to bed and our night without dad will be super uneventful. Also, this little guy has been so good that even if we were up all night just hanging out, that would be perfectly fine. He, I, I know we've said this before, but both Peter and I sleep with our eyes open and it's just so funny that that is a trait that he would get from us. Alrighty, November 20th, it's Peter's parents' wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary to Debbie and Robert. The daily message is, he who obtains has little, he who scatters has much. Lao Tzu. Alrighty, we are all headed off to bed. Peter's been asleep for hours. He comes home at 5 a.m. Evie's actually been under the bed most of the night. She can probably tell something's off, but it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.